It's Stargrave week and we have prizes up for grabs. We'll be choosing winners from three of our communities. One from the comments on YouTube, one from the comments from OnTabletop.com and one from the Cult of Games members so you guys get an extra chance to win. Make sure and get your comments in and we hope you enjoy the week. This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Stargrave. I'm joined by Jerry and today we're going to be showing you the basics of how the game works. So we're going to be playing the basic scenario from the book and just having some fun with it because I like Frostgrave. Hmm. I'm more of a sci-fi person to be honest so I think I'm going to like Stargrave more. Jerry. Hello. What have you got for us? I've got a wondrous settlement full of lovely, lovely people who <laughs> want to have all of their gear robbed away from them. Well, we've got uh, an abandoned research station laid out before us. So I assume that both of our crews have heard there's some lovely, lovely techie goodness and looty lootness here. Yeah. Well, there's, there's stuff everywhere in the galaxy. It just depends how much it's worth when you get it back to sell it later on. Yeah. So yeah, we've arrived here and uh, the initial plan is you, you get what you can and then get out before anybody turns up and kills you to death. Okay, so a nice little smash and grab. Yeah, um, and the way this works is you deploy your, your forces. So we have both our crews deployed already. Yep. Um, and then we start placing tokens. So one will go slap bang in the middle of the board. Uh -huh. And we need to roll to see whether it is data or physical loot. Okay. So if you roll a d20. Uh -huh. uh, so it is a 13. 13. Uh, so 11 up means it is going to be physical. Uh -huh. And we're saying it goes dead center. Yeah, so 18 like inches. On that side of the wall. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, we're just using those ones to represent our physical, mm -hmm. and then we're using the little panels to represent our uh, datas. Mm -hmm. So we get one physical and one data each. Okay, I'll take a different colored one. And then these we place in the opposite half of the table, so in your opponent's table. I see. And they can't go within six inches of another deployed loot. Ah, okay. And this will be based on initiative, so we should probably see who has the initiative for first turn. Uh, that'll be a 16 for me. Mm, 12. I'll let you place the first one. Okie dokie. So, can't go within six, mm -hmm. but has to be in your half. So I'm going to place data there. Okay. Uh, I will place... A data one right in here. Nicely hidden it out of the way on you. Mm -hmm. And then for the physical, mm -hmm. I will pop it. Hmm. You're going to pop it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just out of 24. Mm -hmm. So in fact, I'll. Just push it towards that. Okay. Uh, for my one, mm. I'm actually going to open up one of the buildings. Mm -hmm. And I shall pop it inside. Okie dokie. Right, now, uh, before we begin, yep. I have a roll to make. Yes. Uh, because I have armory. So my leader is rocking some combat armor, which is big, super tough, super heavy armor. Problem is, it needs a lot of upkeep. With the armory, I get a 50-50 roll to mm -hmm. see if I have to pay for it or no. If I miss it, I'm kind of knackered. So, that'll be an 18. He's good. So that's not bad. Is that the only thing you have out of game? Uh, I will quickly double check. So, on your powers for your characters... Uh, oh, I actually have a create robot, which is out of game A. Oh no, after game That's A. That's after game. Yeah, so yeah. A and B. So B is before game, A is after game. Mm -hmm. So that means at the end of game, I can try and make a robot. Mm -hmm. Can I try and use that through the game? No. 
No? Okay. After game is literally after game. When you're checking to see what's happened to the people who have all died mm -hmm. and what loot you have, then you roll that as well. Okay. Essentially, it's during your upkeep. Yeah. Although that's that's kind of a nice thing because it means I can just get like a recruit for free. Yeah. Not always great, mind you. Still, if you get it, you get it and it's good. Yeah. Well, like I say, not always good because you have free recruits in this anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, robots, while robots are immune to some things, they're more susceptible to other things like I being see. shot with lightning is very bad if you're a robot. Okay, I get it. Poisonous gas, not an issue. So okay. I also have a before game thing and uh -huh. I'm going to see whether or not my delightful first mate has managed to bribe anybody on your side. Oh dear. So 17, because he's only a first mate, he requires a 16. Mm -hmm. So yes, I do get it. So I'm going to take my shiny 100 credit nugget. Okay. And I'm going to set that there. Okay. And during the game, I can use that. Only once though. Um, and just bribe one of your soldiers, not your first mate or your captain, yeah, but one of your soldiers. Yeah, one of your soldiers can be uh, uh, bribed and instead... Uh, when they're shooting, mm -hmm. the shooting attack automatically misses, no dice are rolled, and no crew may use more than one bribe token in a game, so you can't bribe half of your opponent, but... Again, that could be really useful at yeah. a critical role, you know, so say it's my sniper just about to shoot your captain dead, and you're just like, no, 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 you remember that money I gave you? Yeah, no, you're not doing that. Now's the time to call in that debt. All right, All right. Uh, so, ready to start the game then? Yep. Okay, into round one. So, we see who's going first, yep. or is initiative already set? No, 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 we so see we who's going rolling. first, yeah. Uh, initiative is always the first thing. An 18? Nine. I think I'm going to let you move first. Okie dokie. So, where would you like to begin? Well, you have to begin with your captain. Mm -hmm. So, captains can activate and they can pull with them three soldiers within line of sight and three inches if mm -hmm. they want. My captain doesn't have anybody there at the moment, but instead he's going to attempt to use one of his powers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to attempt to turn my uh, lovely sword into a void blade. Oh, lovely. So it requires a 10 or more, and on a 14 I That'll, will do it. That will play. So he now has a void blade for practically the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. If he's stunned, uh, it's cancelled, but then I can recast it. Mm -hmm. It gives me plus two damage, and if I'm shot at, it gives me plus three fight when defending against a shooting attack. That's pretty tasty. So I become a little bit of a, there's a word from, a cheddar knight. <laughs> I think that's a monk, maybe. Uh, anyway, so. A form of light sword wielding lunatic. So when you use a power, you can also use a power move, mm -hmm. either before or after you use the power, and it allows you to move three inches. Okay. So he will have done that, mm -hmm. and, and then, out, then he will then move three inches, which will bring me to here, and then he will use his remaining move of six inches mm -hmm. as his second action. I see. For everyone has two actions. And he's just going to move... Back into cover there, okay. in case Hiding. that sniper spots him. Yeah. Uh, my sniper has a beat on some folks, but not many. Mm. You've done a good job of hiding most of your folks to begin with. That's so, what we aim for. I, uh, so, I think the best thing for me to do is my captain will activate on his turn, mm -hmm. and he will activate alone. Uh, so my captain's speed is six. So you've got your two actions, and if you move for both, you get half your movement on your second? Correct. Right, so from where he is, he's basically going to run up six inches and get into contact with that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's anything I really want to do with the second action, although, hmm, could he see... I think I could see your alien here. If you can see him, you can see him, yeah. Well, from, from where he is here, he's looking right the way across over the blue bend and seeing the guy just there. Would you I'll give you a RNA? I'll give you it. Okay. I, can, I can see the top of your platinum hair. So. <laughs> All right, so my range is 24 inches. Mm -hmm. So he is inside. Yep. And so he's rocking a rapid fire, which is a big heavy weapon. Mm. So I believe it gets three shots, yeah? Yep. 
Okay, so I'm rolling, adding his ballistic skill. Roll and add your shoot. Yep. So his shoot is a plus three. Okay, do. Which is quite nice. So for the first one's a four, is going to become a seven. Okie dokie. So Zalbar there. Well, actually, no, it's squidly, isn't it? So it's Bayo. So Bayo's a runner. Mm -hmm. So they've the lightest armor on the board, pretty much. Mm -hmm. They have a fight of two. There's one, two, three bits of cover in the way, yep. and your hasty shot. Yep. So that's plus four to this roll, plus uh -huh. my fight. So I'm rolling plus six here. Okay. I'm, I'm looking to beat you. So uh, seven, seven, 13. Yep. You'll beat it. Second shot. The second. That'll be a 15, uh, plus the three to an 18. That will hit. Mm -hmm. So from your five. No. No never, damage yet? No, you never look at my dice when you come to doing the damage. Okay. What did you get? I got an 18 total. So 18, and then you just take my armor away. Uh -huh. So that's nine. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Plus any bonuses you have for the weapon. Okay, so nine damage straight up unless the rapid fire does any extra. Yep. And then one more. And one more. Uh, for a 13. Well, I will now be with an additional plus two because he will be on yep. the ground stunned because okay. he's taken over four damage in the turn. So you're getting plus eight on your roll? Yep. Uh, I would call that cocked. Yep. So, so 13, five. no, five and eight. So yeah. I'm going to grant all the 16. Yeah, you beat me again. Yeah. So I don't even bother looking for um, for that because he only has 12 health. So, yeah, the, two, so the two things will do enough yeah, damage enough by murder. themselves without the rapid fire bonus. Uh -huh. So no, Squidley's dead. Poor Bayo. Yeah. Didn't he have a, a grenade launcher on him? No. No? Oh, no. I thought he was your grenade guy. No. Is he the next in the queue? Yeah. Okay, he's, he's dying very quickly. Trask. I don't, like, I don't like grenades. Trask is the guy with the grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. The guy with the grenade launcher has the grenade launcher, essentially. <laughs> That's how I've done that. Yeah, well, it is the nice thing about the set is you can't you can build WYSIWYG. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, so that was my two actions, and I think I am content with that. So on to you for your first mate. So first mate, yep. And... Don't need to worry about any of that. So, hmm, where is Candrus going to go? That is quite nice. We do like data. Which one is Candrus? Candrus is my first mate. Ah, so he's right there. Yep. So, 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 so. No powers that he wants to do. Candrus mm -hmm. also only moves five because he's got heavy armor. So, if I go three to there, mm -hmm. four, five will get me up against that. Don't think anybody's going to be in range. Although they are in line of sight, so it might be worth, it's worth a punt. It's always worth a punt. Mm -hmm. Oh, 24 is there. Uh, you are nope. out. Short. Short. Nope. So, I think you stay there then. Mm -hmm. And then back to you for your first mate. Okay, so my first mate is going to activate the commander that's with him and my hacker that's with him. Mm -hmm. So from where they are, uh, my first mate, he can move at six. So he's just going to boogie up in behind this. And then he's going to wall of force for his second action mm -hmm. so i will take a point of damage on that and i need a 14 or better to pull this off for an eight that's no good nope you still take the damage anyway yes the I mental do. strain is too great for you mm -hmm. and okay so he's took one point of damage that's fine uh then the next in line He's going to be my hacker guy, mm -hmm. who's going to use both of his actions to get himself up and in range of the little data terminal. Mm -hmm. So he'll be about there. And then the last one is my commando. They only move five, so five, and then an additional two and a half for seven and a half. 
brings him just in front of the first mate. And that will do. Oh, good doobie. Yeah. So, soldiers next then. Mm -hmm. So, everybody else now goes. Everybody, as you say, else. So, start with the commandos at the rear, I think. Mm -hmm. We round you. You're that way round. Commandos move mighty five. Five. So, five will get me to there. Uh -huh. Two and a half will get me to there. Okay. And then second commando. We'll do something similar. Five to there. Two to there. Just stay tucked in for the cover. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got two recruits who will double it. Uh, so nine inches total. So eight will get him to there. Oh, ways away over there. Let's just go to this side then. Dun, 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 dun. And then his friend. Go two inches, seven inches to there. And then I have a code breaker. Mm -hmm. He moves six. Let's go throw and go for five, six, and then second action, also move. Mm -hmm. And then Grenadier. Three, four, seven, three, yeah. Uh, I could actually get to there with my Grenadier. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very nice. And then that leaves my case cracker, who is just going to move up with my uh, first mate, Candrus. Okay. Go, chimp, go. Right. Now what's left of my soldiers. Mm. So first things first, I have a little grunt at the back here. Mm -hmm. uh, move a six, so nine toto. They're just going to run up to the front edge here. And be ready. Mm -hmm. I then have my lovely, lovely pup who has a move of eight. So, puppy will run up to the car and then stay. Good dog. Uh, he'll move up six inches to be behind the boss. Mm -hmm. Commander will move up five inches to also be behind the boss. And then I have a medic at the back here as well. Mm -hmm. Who do I think is going to get hurt most? Honestly, I think it's going to be around this side. So he's got to move a seven. It's an interesting question because I would have looked at it a different way. I wouldn't care who's going to get hurt the most. <laughs> so My, can you save? Well, who do I want to save? <laughs> you know, there's no point in worrying about a free person dying if, mm. if then at the same time you lose your first mate or your captain. Yeah, Somebody but I'm also looking money. at who's going to get treasure first and mm. then be able to do a runner who you might target with all of this running at my face. Mm. Right, so that's everyone done except for my sniper. Yep. And my sniper, I believe, from on top of the roof here, mm -hmm. you can see one of your guys chilling out here. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm, actually I'm gonna shoot at the grenadier who's been foolish enough to pop his head up onto our roof. Mm -hmm. So, I'll have a look and see what I'm getting here. So my sniper gets a plus four on his shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, I would call at least one intervening piece of terrain. Yep, plus I'm yep. up against this, so that's two. Yep, uh, because you're up against it, is it not different? Uh, it depends, if it, count, if, it, if it is heavy cover mm -hmm. and you're over 50% up against and up against it, mm -hmm. uh, then it's a plus four. Well, it's a set of solar panels. I would definitely count that as heavy cover. Okay, okay. So in that case, that'll be a five. Yeah. Okay, so my plus four to begin with. Mm -hmm. Uh, for a 15, takes me to a nice 19. Okie doke. Uh, my fight is 3, plus my 5, so I'm on a plus 8 to the dice. Mm -hmm. 7, 15. Uh, so, 19. So, yep, beat me. Yep, that'll land. Yep, and it will do 
19 and my armor is 11, so we'll do eight points of damage. Okay. So he's stunned. Yay. Now the question is, do I want my sniper moving? I don't think I do. I think he's quite happy in his little perch. Mm -hmm. So Probably. that'll be all of my heroes gone and all of my grunts gone. Yep, that's the end of the turn. Okay. Okay, back for round two. Yep. Uh, initiative again now. Initiative. 18. 15. Uh, I think I'm going to take the lead this time. Okie dokie. So, my Mon Capitan, uh, the dog is in range as well, is going to activate everybody here. Okay. And so, from where he is, can he see anybody to shoot them? Not. Uh, can I see your first mate from here? I think I can. Yeah, let's say yeah. Okay, so he's just going to take three pops at you. Hokey dokey. With his plus three. So, a 20. Crit. So yep. that'll be plus five damage anyway, unless I can crit my response. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, one, One, two, two three. three. And you're up tight. So plus seven from the hard cover. Twenty. Twenty. So I do. And you block the first shot. Second. That's a ten. My survey says seventeen plus all of my additional. Block. And number three is an eighteen. Uh, thirteen. So I'm on twenty-one. Uh, let me see. I think you're on twenty. Well, that's that's with the plus seven. That's not including my fight stat for my my uh, second in command. And my second in command's fight is two, so twenty two. Uh, so completely safe. Mm. Okay. Uh, I am then going to have my doggo for mm -hmm. his eight. He's basically going to bounce up behind the objective here. Mm -hmm. Uh, my commando is, he's just going to move up and take position here. And my other guy... Who if can, he's going to take another action, he can take it now, by the way. So oh, if your commando uh, is moving yeah, up and shooting. I think I can see you through here. Mm -hmm. So he will be taking a shot. Uh, so commando shooting, I need to check. He gets a plus three, and I'm just shooting the first guy. Okie doke. Just get the cover he's up against them. Uh -huh. Uh, that'll be 12, 15. 17, 18, well plus whatever he has, which yep. I think is a 1. And then uh, my other guy, who is good for physical loot, is going to book it for 9 inches around to here, near the dog. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my captain done. Nice. Yes. So... My captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Da, da, da. They've all gone. He hasn't gone. He's gone. I think captain is going to go this way. Mm -hmm. He's going to cross that little obstacle, which will cost him an additional inch. Okay. So that'll be four inches to there. Uh-huh. Plus his normal move is six. I want to say. Mm -hmm. His normal move is sex school rev and go. So two inches will get him to there. And then. Yeah, I'll just move to here. Okay. Which means somebody will have to come out to get a shot at him, which I'm content with. Okay. So that's my. Captain, okay. back to you for your first mate. Okay, so my first mate who is here will activate the commando that's with him and mm -hmm. the medic behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, the first mate is not going to move. He is going to fire his grenade launcher. Okay. And he will be targeting right here. Okay. So from there, who all am I getting? Um, well, where exactly are you going? Uh, so Right there. So dead center. So first off, you roll the hit, and oh. then anybody who's within that 
three inches is a possibility, so it has okay. potential to hit them all. Okay. Uh, so what am I rolling for? So you have a target number uh -huh. of 12 as your difficulty, mm -hmm. plus additional modifiers. So um, if you can see the target. Uh, I see this dude here. Okay, so you'd get a, I believe, minus two for that. Are you sure it's not a plus two for seeing him? Well, it's... It, give me a second and I shall tell you exactly. Not a problem. Because you've got a mix of both here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's right, it's not in that part, it's in this part. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because you're using a grenade launcher, you're at minus one unwieldy. Okay. And then, because you can see where you're going to, it's a plus two. Mm -hmm. And then... You also get an additional minus one, I think. Where are you? I think it's only if it's out of line of sight you get the minus one. Ba -na 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 -na. Could be, could be, could be. Mm -hmm. And I haven't moved. Oh, you, you don't have to worry about hasty on that one because it's oh. a different thing. Ah, uh, okay. Grenades are very different, but okay. grenades are also hidden from me, apparently. <laughs> Throwing and firing grenades, there we go. So target point in line of sight is plus two. Uh, firing with grenade launcher is a minus one. Mm -hmm. Oh, hasty shot does count. Yep. So in this case, it's just a plus one to your roll and your target number is 12 or more. So I've got a plus three total. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do. That'll be a four. So that'll be a mess. Yep, oh, and actually, I'll put it back because it will scatter, won't it? Yes. So I was on for... But it scatters based on... Yes, the difference. The difference. So I was on seven. Yep. And so the difference is five. Yep. And so it will go five in the direction the dice is pointing. Yep. So five inches, we'll put it there. Yeah, whiffed in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Worth a try though. Always. Uh, I will then, for my second action, attempt a Wall of Force. Okay. Because, why would I not? See if I can manage it. For a 15 will. Excellent. Does so, it have any strain? It does. Strain 1. So you're going to take more damage, which is always yep. good. But I'm going to pop it right here. Okie dokie. Which blocks your guys coming through. Yes. Blocks me coming through there. Yes. Which is fine by me. So it's 6 inches long. And three inches high. Yep. Excellente. Okay, uh, next up. Uh, my medic is going to try and heal up uh, my first mate. Mm -hmm. So how do we heal? So you're going to have to spend an action. Uh -huh. but you also need to be up close and personal with him. Okay, so I will move up. The first action and heal him with the second. Yep. So a med kit can mm -hmm. be spent to attend to any figure within two inches. All right, uh, I don't even it, know how to move. It replaces a move action. The recipient is immediately cured of any toxins, re immediately recovers from any stuns, and is no longer treated as wounded. Okay. Uh, the kit has no effect on robots. There's no limit to how often a med kit can be used. So it wouldn't replace actual wounds, it just removes status effects. I see. No point doing that then. Nope. Uh, then the last thing that I have is me commando, mm -hmm. who can see your little dude here, mm -hmm. who is just poking out. So we'll just take a straight shot at him. Okay. With no terrain in the way, I would say. Because I can pretty much see every last bit of him. Oh. Well, see, I'm up. Part of his leg is hidden. So. Up against the building, so. Okay. So you'll get your plus four. Yeah. All right, well, uh, being commando, I'm getting a plus three. Yep. And for a three, so that's six. Survey so says 20 Nada. Well. Worth a try. Uh, on to your first mate then. Yes. I will activate. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I'll activate the two soldiers with him. Mm -hmm. So Trask up top, who was stunned. Removes the stun effect, mm -hmm. but he's only got one action. Yep. Um, which I will come back to once I've done my first mate's move. 
Okay. That makes more sense because that is the order in which the to do these things in. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> yeah. Bunny Boy is just going to uh, run up, go Candrus go. Go from there up against this wall. Now he's going to have a hasty shot at your fixer, hacker, or chiseler. Must be a chiseler if chiseler. he's going for the physical. Yes, he is uh, right here. So, so Candrus. Candrus is rocking a shotgun. Mm -hmm. So it's only got 12 range, but you are well in. within the 12. Um, he has a shoot of three. Mm -hmm. That will be a hasty shot, though, so you get plus one for that and plus one for the uh, uh -huh. intervening terrain. Uh, plus three total. So, I do do additional damage with this if I hit the... For nine. Nine. Uh, what did I say? Three. Twelve. Uh, I get a six. So, uh, plus three comes to a nine total. Okay, so you get hit. Uh -huh. Damage is... Normally 12 minus your armor. Uh, so 10. But I get plus one because it's a combat shotgun. So I'll take three points so of damage. Three points of damage for that one. How many? Three. Three, yeah. Yep. Okay. And then my chimp with gun. Go chimp, go, go chimp, go. That's, that's four. Uh, five, six to there, and then he will take a shot at your chiseler, uh -huh. who is out in the open to him. Yes. So, code breaker. Oh, sorry, case cracker. Uh -huh. uh, he's got a shoot of two. 10, 11, 12. Uh, that'll be 16, 17. Ooh. Nada. Not for that. And then finally, over here, mm -hmm. Trask, 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 what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's just go straight in there. Let's not play around. Mm -hmm. So, midway between dog and dog friend. Okay. Can he see where he's shooting from where he is? He can. Okay. And so, difficulty 12. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Grenadier is plus three on a shoot. Uh -huh. so plus two uh, makes five, and then minus one because it's a great launcher. So, plus, a plus four. four. 12 or more, mm -hmm. plus four. 13. 13. Lucky for some. Will so, land. So that'll be a hit. So when it lands and hits, in this case... Yep, you're getting the dog out. and the chiseler. So I make a separate roll. For each. For each, okay. with a plus three. So against the dog. Mm -hmm. So 11. 11, the dog gets a plus one. For a six, a seven, so you will hurt it. Nice. Uh, what's the damage? 11 minus its armour. Uh, its armor is eight, so it's taken three. Yep. Okay. And uh, then my chiseler. your chiseler. Oops. Fifteen, 15 eighteen. A two. So that'll be a hit. Uh -huh. And eighteen minus your armor. Is eight damage out of twelve. So he will be stunned. And worse than that, if he's down to four wounds, he's also wounded. He is down to, I believe, one wound, oh. if I've counted it right. Shocking. Uh, yeah, he'd already had three, he took an additional eight, he's on 11 wounds total. Okie dokie. Ouch. Yeah, that is going to sting in the morning. You know, medic might be nice there, <laughs> if I'd sent him that way. Oh, we'll look for, we'll look for wounded in a minute. Okay, I well, believe, we, we can do it between rounds. Yeah, I believe, I believe you may be reduced in what you can do mm -hmm. in a similar way to uh, being stunned. Uh -huh. So, 
Okay. That's my first mate's action. Uh-huh. And now we're on to all of my troopers. Yep. Okay, first things first. My sniper has a 100% clear shot at your first mate. Yep. So he's getting his plus four, I believe. Uh-huh. Uh, no, yes. I'm going to call him my bribe now. You're not taking that shot. <laughs> All right, I'll take your damn money. God bless you. <laughs> All right, uh, I will then go with... Uh, my commando here is already gone. Mm -hmm. uh, my hacker... Yep. is going to see about looting the, the data cache. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? Okay, so they're fairly easy. Their target number is 14 to break into any of the caches, whether they're data or physical. Uh -huh. It's a will test. Okay. And if you have a specific person with a bit of kit, like a, a cyber deck in his case, yep. Got it. you get a plus six to your will rule. So I'm plus seven. You're on plus seven, so seven or more, and you get into the data or... That'll be an 18. Yep. So give me data. You can have some data. All right. Uh, I will just put it next to his base. So he's done that, and he's going to then move. Yep. Now, because this is his second action, does he get his full move, or yeah. is he on to reduced? No, no. It's only You only reduce it if you take two move actions. Okay. So basically, he's got what he needs time to boogie. Yeah. So he's just going to go his full six, lagging it while trying to stay in cover. So he put some people between him and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, I then have my little lady with my gun here that I could go with. Mm -hmm. And what I think she's going to do, uh, she's going to go for a bit of a move out and around to here, get in behind cover, and then take a shot at your captain. Okay. For a plus two on her shoot. Okie doke. Uh, 13, that'll be 15. So Revan yes. is currently rocking out... The Void Blade. With the Void Blade. Mm -hmm. So his fight is plus seven against <laughs> blasters. 14, so well 21. Good. So pew, 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 pew. Uh, I do believe my uh, commando here still had to go. Uh, did he activate with the captain? I think he activated with the yeah, captain. Yeah, he activated with the yeah. captain. Yeah, because he took his shot. Yeah, and these three all went together. Yeah. So I think that's everybody done on my side. Yeah. On to you then. Just my soldiers. Yes. So, uh, wounded, by the way, is you have one action. Okay. And you're at minus two to all rolls. Oh, my, oh, my. Until you're healed up beyond four again. Okay. There is something I took for my powers that might be useful. <laughs> yes. Just want to see climbing. Check my distance on that. Excellent. Check, check, check the index. Yeah. So what are you trying to do now? I'm looking for climbing. Okay. I believe I can do it without a major issue or incidence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's fairly simple. Um, whenever you're crossing any obstacle, in the same way I jumped this barrier earlier and cost me an additional inch, yeah. uh, it essentially does the same. So climbing over any obstacle costs you two inches for every one inch or partial inch of height. Okay. Uh, there's no rule or anything, you just go ahead and do it. Uh, if you're going up something that doesn't have a ladder or stairs, then it will cost you your full movement. Okay. If you can't get up in one turn, you just leave a little marker to yeah. say that they're still halfway up the side clinging on. Mm -hmm. Does mean you can be shot off, mm. fall, that sort of thing. Okay, but before we start, yes. there is something else you'll need to open that book for. Mm -hmm. I got loot. Monster. Yes. Oh, monster, yes. So I has to roll for this. Ten or more. Uh, that'll be a nine. No, I don't need to worry. No then. monster. No monster. Nothing was protecting that loot. You know, well, I mean, like, while I was downloading the data, I didn't accidentally open a scientific tank. So, ooh, what's he up to? Something spicy? He's going to go up there. Just climbing up and around? Climbing up. Is, uh, that requires all of his move. Mm -hmm. I could just stay there and shoot. Mm -hmm. Would make the most sensible thing. Because that is... All of his moves, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'll take a hasty shot. 
Okay. Who would uh, you like to shoot? Um. So your targets are my first mate. Yep. My commando. Yep. My hacker. Yep. My doctor. They're all good targets. Yeah. I like them all. I do feel like shooting the doctor in the face, but um, <laughs> I'm actually going to go for the hacker who's attempting to run away. Okay. Um, so he'll get a plus one. Yeah. Right. So he's on a plus He is in range. Uh-huh. And yeah, at and round. Mm -hmm. Plus three shoot. You get a plus one for the cover, plus one because it's a hasty shot. Okay. So, so plus three for him. Nine and three, 12. I'll be a 13 and three. So yeah, you're fine. Spitting. Too much happening. That's much just a warning on. shot. Wait till next time. The other commando mm -hmm. will use all of his move. So one move plus a second move to get his backside up there. All right. High, just right at the edge where if he suffers massive wounded, she could fall off. Because <laughs> that's what we like to see. It's always good, clean family fun. Of course. And then the rest of my merry bunch. Mm -hmm. uh, All the nuggets going to be running from around behind the van. Yeah. So four inches to there. Oh, his base is under a wheel apparently. <laughs> four inches will get him to there. And then his life's, you know, too short. He's going to start out in the open <laughs> and go blam, 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 blam. Okay, here's the shot. Very hasty. In fact, many people go, why are you even doing that? You mm -hmm. madman, you. However, he's only a recruit. So, Voss, with a shoot of two. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. 13, 14, 15. That'll be 22. Oh, you're lucky this time, Gadget. <laughs> and then, that was Voss. Out comes Zalbar. We'll do something not dissimilar. We'll go to there. And then we'll just shoot at your first mate. Okay. My first mate here? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm getting the plus four yep. and his fight. Plus four, plus five, because hasty, plus your fight. Uh, so plus five, so it's plus eight. I've got 19 plus 2, 21 to beat. 18. Plus 8, 26, you do beat. Yes. One inch. Four inches. Mm -hmm. Kick the front door in. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nice. Sorry, just set them more stably. <laughs> Inside for next turn. Mm hmm. Back to there. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Nope, that is all of me for all of this. Okay, so round two, done. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. on to round three then? Yep. Uh, initiative. Yes, please. Uh, so for me, it's a ooh, six. 20. 20. The dice gods have spoken. Yeah, I will take the first initiative. Uh huh. So what's your cappy captain going to do? Hmm. I feel like killing everyone in the world. <laughs> okay, so he is going to summon the mystical forces uh -huh. to cast dark energy okay. at your captain. Okay. So are you within 12 inches? You are within 12 inches. I am indeed. So dark energy is a activation of 10 normally. Uh huh. And it causes strain of one, so I will take one damage. Okay. And then let's see whether or not uh, you can I take any off. additional damage. So ten. ten. Ten exactly. That's oh. fine. Spot on, you got it? Spot on. So I summon a black nexus right. of dark energy that comes coursing out of the end of my fingertips. Right. Flows over the boxes, surrounds and wraps Dutch. Uh-huh. Uh, and then just soaks into him, causing 
a plus five shooting attack that will ignore armor. Ooh. So. Uh, let me just have a look and see what Dutch is looking like for his fight. Does it ignore cover? No, it won't, it won't ignore cover. It's just a, uh, so, if you get it off, the figure makes a plus five shooting attack against any target within 12. It ignores any armor worn by a figure. Mm. So subtract the figure's armor modifier from their armor. Okay. It does more damage against the robots, so. Yeah, so my thinking is this would count as just a single piece. Yeah, so that'd be the only big. only get the heavy cover. Yeah, it'll be the big heavy plus four. Yeah, so I'm on a plus eight. Okay. 13, 18. Uh, 10 becomes an 18. Tie. Ooh, a tie. Tie. I, you know, don't do any damage then. Yeah, I but assume look, it's, you have to beat, not meet. Yeah. Okay, uh, Fungy Dungy. So, well, that was his his power move. Mm -hmm. So he gets his half move as well. Well, he gets his three inch power move, yeah. which he can make before or after. Yeah. So I'm going to use that to come up to here. Uh huh. And then. I want to throw myself into combat with you for fun and games. Of course. I think I do. <laughs> So, second action will be up there. Not the puppy. And get engaged with the pup. Can't do anything right now because you need an action to fight. Uh, but I'm engaged. So. All right, so my captain then. Mm -hmm. uh, he will activate the grunt in front mm -hmm. and the commando out to the side. Mm -hmm. And so, what's going to happen is the grunt in front is going to shoot uh, and then move. So. Plus two for shooting, just targeting your front guy here. Yep. For a 15. And our survey says 20, oh, natural. Not a hope. Yep. All right, and then she's just gonna bounce around here out the way. Uh, then Commando here. Mm -hmm. He's got five inches of movement. Let's not be coy. He's gonna move out and around to here. Can your own models be counted as blocking you? Uh, it depends what you're planning on doing. I was thinking of maybe shooting your leader. You won't, they won't block, but you randomize hits if you fire into combat. Uh, and we are now in combat? Yep. All right. Well, we're case, engaged, so yes. In that case, he's just going to move to here mm -hmm. and just shoot your monkey, who's okay, got okay. no cover. Jim with the gun. Yes, the ape is going to die. Uh, so it's plus three. The ape is not going to die. Don't you it's listen to him, Chimp. Yes, do you say? So that'll be a nine plus his three for 12. 14. 14, you're fine. All right, and then the big guy himself mm -hmm. is basically just going to shoot through this gap here and lay two into the front guy, one into the back guy. Okay. So for his plus three, yep. Uh, that'll be a 20 total. That'll hit. Okay, total was. 20, so how many it 20. Um, so it's going into Voss, who's armor of 10, so it'll be 10 points of armor, so he is wounded. Mm -hmm. And second verse, and the first, stand. 13, becomes a 16. So I'll do that. Stand, I'm wounded. Mm -hmm. And verse this 15, is this back into Voss again, this is yes. two into him, yeah. So he gets a plus two because he's stunned now, and down. Uh, for a one. One, won't help him. He'll so be he will very be, dead. He'll be out. And Next shot. Yep. For an 18, comes to 21. And 14. So that'll be another hit for another. 11 this time. Uh, if they're the same kind of guy. Well, same, same style of armor, yes. So he is also stunned and down. Yay, murder. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's my captain done. On to your first mate. Yes. He will activate chimp with a gun with himself. Mm -hmm. And then he will. Go, Candris, go, Candris, go. Five inches, get me to there. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, well, hello. And then he'll just shoot you in the face. <laughs> of course. So now was he not prone the last time? 
He is. That's why he's got a thing beside him. Okay. So he'll get his plus two for being prone. He has plus two for being prone, but he's at minus two for tall dice rolls because he's wounded. Don't forget. Uh huh. Or is he the wounded one? Is he four health or lower? Uh, yes. Yeah. So he's just writhing helplessly on the ground. Yeah. So so it'll just be your your plus one. Your fight plus yep. your plus hasty. Yep. Uh, plus two. Okay. Yep. And he's the one with the shotgun, isn't he? He is. Candice has got the combat shotgun. Yeah. So, shoot combat. of three. Twelve. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, you're fine. Look at that. I don't even know why you're worried. Randomly crawling off toward boxes. <laughs> so it's three, four, five inches to get to there. Mm-hmm. All of us move to get round yep. to that. Okay. And then that's your first mate's go. Okay, so first mate is going to activate with the commando, the mm -hmm. hacker, mm -hmm. and the medic. Mm -hmm. Even though the medic feels kind of crappy, can't do much. Uh, you say so that, but whenever you're on a ship with a medic and a medical bay, you, yeah. it helps you in campaigns because he. Um, well, the medic's going to scarper your off from this side and go around here. Mm hmm. Uh, the hacker is booting it to get off table and he has enough to get off. Mm -hmm. So he'll hit the point here and be gone. Okay. With the loot, which is fantastic. It means I've got something to show for the work today. Yep. And then my first mate himself, he's just going to take a, another shot with his grenade launcher mm -hmm. and he's going to try and pop it on them. Okay. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Ah, it's my fault I should have done it. I had meant to use one of the actions of my captain to heal him. Mm. Next turn. Because it wouldn't be fair to do it now. So, grenade launcher anyway. Mm -hmm. Need the 12. Uh, so I can see the point that I'm shooting at. Yep. So it's a plus one, so grand total of plus three. Okay, okay. Uh, for an 11, which it will land. Okay. So both of them are taking a, a shot on plus three. Yep. So for the first guy is 22. That'll be the front dude. Okay. So Atten is a five of three. 16, nope, that'll be a hit. Mm -hmm. For 12 damage, I'm gonna guess. No, he's got armor 11. Oh, armor 11, yep. so 11 damage. 11 damage. <clears throat> uh, but he will be wounded. Guy the second. Mm-hmm. For an 11, becomes a 14. One, that'll be another hit then. Mm -hmm. So 14 you say, so he takes three damage. Uh, yes. Does my poor fellow fall off? <laughs> Would it not be funny? Oh, well, it wouldn't be funny, no, you're right. No, he's okay. He doesn't fall off the edge despite having a grenade explode in his face. Mm -hmm. And I was activating the commander with that. Mm -hmm. So he's actually going to pump one into the building through the window okay. at your guy. Okay. So I'm assuming hard cover. So plus three for 13. Seven, 11 plus my fight of three, 14. 14, you are safe. Mm. Just ping one through the window, he's hiding. So you didn't account for the refraction. Uh, true enough. It probably just took the laser beam and just went pew, made sparkly lights. All right, uh, your trippy troops. Yep. So. Hmm. Poor stunned and wounded fellow will stand up mm -hmm. and his second action will just be to shoot. Mm -hmm. And he'll shoot into your uh, first mate. Okay, so first mate here. Fair enough. All right, well. 15. Uh, plus one only because he's wounded. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, actually, no. Because he's wounded, he only gets one action, so standing up would right. have cost him his action. Okay. So, the other commando. Uh-huh. Going to move to there uh -huh. and then take a hasty shot okay. at your 
first mate. Eats it Picard. That's very, very cocked. Let's try and get it on a flat. For a one. one. Well, that's not going to do anything. Nope. He will... Stand? Stand. Mm -hmm. That's him. And then... Boyo inside. Inside. Yeah, looking at the 14. Plus two to his will. It's eight, no good. Nope. Not this turn. Mm -hmm. Next turn, gadget, next turn. Mm -hmm. And then my grenade launching friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he going to screw up and lob a grenade onto his own boss's head? Nope. Because I'm not planning on going anywhere near there. Uh -huh. What I am planning is, and I think this will probably require a move. Yeah. Yeah, so if I want to go to there. I mean, um, if you're aiming directly on me, you're just touching the front of my base, so you could get away without making the move? No. Okay. Because the grenade defines the direction. Ah. Uh, so if I fire there, you're getting plus four cover. If I move forward and fire, it hits you from behind, you don't get any cover. Ah. Clever, clever. So... He's going to go to there. Mm -hmm. And, and just point of impact. Pop one there. Right there. Okay. Well, it's only one guy we're worried about, so let's see if you land it first. Uh, plus two, minus two. So just on his flat, yeah. On his shoot. And the shoot for a grenadier is three. So nine or more. Two. two. Not ideal. And because the amount missed is greater than six, the template would just disappear. Yeah. Okay. Dunsies? That is everyone. Okay. Uh, so for me left, I think I have my dog, my chiseler, and my sniper. Yep. Let's start with the sniper. You bribed him once, mm -hmm. but you, you've kind of hung yourself out in the middle of nowhere too much. And, you know, it's going to get suspicious if I don't shoot at you two turns in a row. The boss might notice and kick me off the ship. I don't think he'd kick you off the ship. He may space you. Yeah. Which is similar but different. Similar but more permanent. Yeah. So he will take a shot. Okay. Uh, with his plus four, I believe. Firing a yes. Candorous. Yes. Uh, with no cover for you. No. So plus four becomes a 16. 11 and Mia. Candorous' fight is two. So 13. So it'll be hit. Yep. For 16. So it's five points of damage. Excellent. Uh, my chiseler, who's on his ass, mm -hmm. will get himself up, mm -hmm. but that's all he can do. And my dog is going to do the most insane thing of all time and fight your captain. Oh, excellent. So, doggo, what can you do in a fight? You have a plus one to your fight. Why are you here? Your will is even minus two. Because he's cheap. That's why he's here. <laughs> so, a plus one versus... You. Uh, well, my fight's only plus four. Dog will bite for 13. Oh, uh, see, you hit. I only get seven. Okay. Uh, so dog, 13. Nose on your leg. I have an armor of nine, so four points. Okay. There we go. And I think that's round. Will be. Four points is enough to stun. Oh, lovely. So, well, that's something. It eats up one of your actions. Yeah. Although you can just stab me up. Can't stab you up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can do other things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Round four. Mm. I'm starting to kind of feel like the, the worm has turned. So, 19. 19 to 15. I'll be going first. Thank you. Okay. Mon capitaine. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for Life Leech Okay. as my power. Not all powers can be used in combat, this one can. Lovely. Activation of 9. No strain. So if it says 8, I will wound myself for 1 to get it off. Ah, so you can still do that in this version of the game? Oh yes, you can still, you can still take the hit. Uh -huh. Well, if it's something that's generating health for you, why not? So it'll put me down to 11, but you'll be pleased to hear it may not. What you need to do for your dog uh -huh. is roll a will test. Target number's 15. Minus two on my dog. 
So your target number is 17. Yes. We're in it. You lose three health, I gain three health. Okay. Uh, pencil ball. Hang on. Bring that to 14. Uh, Doggo will take another three, because he had already lost three. And that's my activation. And we don't fight because that wasn't a fight. That was just me sucking the life out of you. Oh, lovely. Your captain's going. Uh -huh. Now, would your dog have got to fight, or your captain have got to fight back when I fought you? Yes, I did. That's what the dice roll is. So, ah, so it's you, opposed? Yeah, it's opposed. So if I would okay. have got higher, you would have got stabbed up. Okay. Uh, so the captain has no one to activate around him. Mm -hmm. He is, however, going to use a power move mm -hmm. for heal. So I need a 10 to activate it. Uh, he gets a 14. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, this power restores up to five points of lost health to a target figure within six. That will be this gentleman here. Okay. Uh, do you have an eraser? Nope. Okay, give him a pencil then. So he's getting five back. Which means he's only lost six health. Which is fine. Uh, the captain, because it's a power move, gets a little bit of shimmying about. So he will... You know what, he doesn't really care about the dog. He's going to shimmy to here and shoot into combat. Mm -hmm. So, how do we determine back and forth who's getting hit? We don't know yet. You randomize. Okay. How many people are in the combat? Two. 50-50 then. Okay. So, so, lows it's the dog, highs it's my captain. Okay. Yep. Uh, dog. Dog, for the first one. Yep. Roll for the dog then. Yep. Uh, 13 plus 3 is 16 against the dog. Dog's fight is plus 1. Plus it's got cover. So one. Oh, one's not going to help. That's no, an automatic failure. No, the dog failure. will take the damage. Yep. Uh, which was how much? Was okay, a, what did you say, 15? I think it was a 16 I rolled. Okay. So dog's armor is 8. Yep. So that's 8 points of damage. Doggy is dead. Oh, what a shame. Oops. Only a dog. Uh, second shot then. I don't have to randomize because your nope. guy's left. Yep. So plus three. Uh, nine becomes a 12. Okie dokie. My fight is four. My void blade is three. My wall is four. Uh -huh. Can't go over 10 okay. on a, a modifier. So okay. plus 10. 18. You're fine. Second Sorry. one. Third shot uh, for an 18 becomes a 21. Uh, 27. Oof. Worth it. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Your first mate, then? My first mate. Yes. Matey the first. First mate will uh, attempt to regenerate. Mm -hmm. So he regenerates on 12. 19, so I get three health back. No stress, I assume? Nope, because Candrus Ordo has got a healing implant, as everybody knows. Mm -hmm. And then his second will be to move into combat with your chiseler. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. No action after that? Nope. Okay. That, that was his two actions. Okay. Uh, so we're on to my first mate then. Mm -hmm. uh, so he will activate with the commando and the grunt beside him. Mm -hmm. uh, he himself, does he have anything he wants to do that would be interesting or funny? Mm, no, they wouldn't really want to do any of that. Uh, honestly, he's going to move and take a pop with his grenade launcher. Okie dokie. Just to see how we go here. So he'll move himself up to here and the grenade launcher is going to try and land it on yeah. your leader like okay, so, so uh, TN12 uh, plus 2 minus 2 yeah so it's just his shooting mm -hmm. uh, which is not fantastic it's a plus 2 so 10 or better it lands mm -hmm. then it's plus 3 on each so on your captain 
Uh, 14 becomes a 17. Okie dokie. Oh, captain, my captain. 15 plus his fight is uh, 19. 19, so he's with, okay? Yeah, without any modifiers added on, he's on 19. And for your uh, first mate, that's mm -hmm. a, a 22. My first mate will get hit. With a frag grenade. Yep. Which is fun. So, Candrus armor is 11, so he will take 11. What's he on? He's down to two. Oh, so he's wounded. He is indeed wounded. Fantabulous. Thankfully, he's already gone this turn, so I don't mind. Yeah, but I might be able to murder him. That is true. Which, you know, moral victory. Can be. Can uh, be. Then, so Commando, mm -hmm. who's here, will take a shot at the guy who's out of cover. Mm -hmm. uh, for his... He's just a plus three. He's just a plus three. Uh, for an eight, becomes an eleven. Okie dokie. Commando, plus three. Sixteen. Yep. And then my grunt, might as well just ball out and into combat, so move of six, mm -hmm. has space to move in, and is going to stab your little dude in the face. Okie dokie. So her fight is a plus two. I would normally be on a plus two except I'm wounded, mm -hmm. so I'm on a plus zero. So for nine. Five. Nine, I don't think I've been Armour of ten. No. Yeah, so we're just we're struggling. Well, we're the saying, uh, when you're in a combat, you have a choice. You've won the combat, you didn't cause any damage. Uh -huh. You can stay in the combat, or you can push me back an inch, and it is directly back. I think I'm okay. Okie dokie. We'll just we'll sit there and struggle for a while. Tussle. Yes, I'm happy enough with that. Okay. Soldiers uh, then? For yes, me. your soldiers. Okay. I'm going to start with... The chimp. The chimp, yeah. Chimp will break the and code and yep. get some data. Chimp will summon something for oh getting the data. Well done, chimp. That's all right. Uh huh. Uh, I will finish Chimpo's move and then I'll see what he's got. Right. So. Probably summons the biggest, nastiest thing in the game. Three, four, so we can just guess on that side. Oof. Clambery, clambering. Yep. Well, he's a chimp. Yep. And then, do you want to roll d20? Sure, why not? I'll be a 17. 17 sounds horrendous. Quite possibly. I don't know if I wasn't knocking down terrain all over the show. 17 is a sentry bot. Okay. Ooh. One of the more common robot designs since the last war. They feature an extremely simplistic approach that essentially allows them to serve one purpose. They move on a preset path and shoot anything that gets in the way. While most were destroyed, a few are still found in remote or deserted areas, and their masters may be long dead, but their programming remains. So, he's going to come in from a corner. Okay. So One, one through five. Yep. Uh, six, six through to ten. ten. So on and Eleven so on. and top end. That'll be 19, it's coming so, in there. Coming in this corner. Uh, what looks nice as a sentry boss. I pick you, Ancient Sith Battle Droid. Yeah, so you've basically brought in your bestiary of <laughs> sci finus Yeah, yeah, yeah. Courtesy of, uh, where are you? That's the corner there. Yeah. And then that'll be that about there. Yep, yep. So he gets to move in the monster phase at the end. Yes. So, more fun and games for more people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do this fight with yeah, this grunt. You're on a plus, uh, I'm on a plus zero. Uh, so I get a seven? I get oh, a critical. 20. Ouch. So, uh, 20 minus your armor. Armor of 10, so I'm taking 10 damage. Plus five, because it's a crit. Then death. Ooh. Walked in. Tried to shank, failed to shank, got shanked in return. To be fair, he's bleeding out like um, yeah, just, Mr. Mr. Orange at the moment. He's, you know. Desperately just trying to fight for life. So, that was his first action. Mm -hmm. Oh, he only gets one action. Yep. I was going to stumble towards your captain bleeding, <laughs> bleeding all over you. 
Yeah. I'm trying to give you space hepatitis. <laughs> uh, in here, uh -huh. I yeah. have another data point that I can try and rumble. In this case, it's the physical one. Yes. A two. Two will not do it. Yeah. He'll just stay there. Okay. Uh, is that everybody? Uh, no, no, now I've got the people up top doing stuff. Okay. So, wounded trooper. Yeah. Gonna shoot him. Uh -huh. Yep, cover from that though. Okay. So, uh, commando plus three, wounded down to one. 15. Plus four for me is a three. So, seven. So, 15 will get through. Armor nine, so six points of damage. Pencil, mm. please. So, oh. one, two, three, four, five, six. Okie dokie. That's enough to stun, isn't it? That is enough to stun. So he's knocked down, is it? Uh, knocked down, or you can put that beside it. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll just put this beside it. Right. And then the other fella. Uh huh. Uh, while we're at it, he'll do the same again, mm -hmm. and he will not get covered from this this time. Okay, so just a uh, fight of plus three. And fight of plus three. One crit failure. Uh, that'll be a 15. So, nine. with a one when you're shooting, you've done something, either you've ran out of ammo or you've jammed your gun. Uh -huh. So he will need to unjam that as an action next turn. So okay. I'm just going to pop that there to remind myself. Okay. Uh, and then that just leaves my grenadier. Yes. Grenadiering away. Uh, I do like the idea of chucking it at your um, sniper again <laughs> for fun and profit. Yes, of course. Because, uh, you know, why not? Yep. Anybody else firing at him has got cover, whereas at least I can pop this in behind. Yeah, well, I guess it's the wages of sin, seeing as he took the bribe. I've got uh, plus four this time in total. Okay, so it's just his fight? No, no, uh, I've got to hit you first. Yeah. 20, so it'll be a hit. So the grenade goes off behind you and into the back. So I've got a, a plus three on mine. Yep. One. So yeah. that'll do well, nothing. Doesn't matter. Dud. Bump. Forgot to pull the pin. <laughs> That's all of my soldiers. Okay, so left for me, I believe it's just this commando, this uh, chiseler, Chisler. and the sniper. So yep. Chisler will go first. Am I able to disengage? Honestly, I think it's time to get the hell out of dodge, so yes, I will try to disengage with him. Uh, however, first things first, your grenadier is annoying me, so my sniper is going to shoot him first. He's hardly done anything at all. I don't know how he could be annoying you. <laughs> He's just there with a grenade launcher looking mean, you know, spouting profanity. So for a plus four on your Grenadier. That'll be a 17. Okie dokie. That'll hurt. That'll hit. So 17 against my armor of 11, so 6. Mm -hmm. On my Grenadier. He's there. He only has 6 health left, so he's dead. Cool. And trying to find the removing yourself from combat bit. Because I know you can, but I don't know if I get uh, a chance to stab you up or anything as you go. It would make sense. Movement into combat and forcing combat, that's fine, but what about doing that in reverse? Had a quick look there, uh, and the only thing I can see is uh, a power called Quick Step, mm -hmm. which allows you to make a four inch move that will take you out of combat. Right. So potentially, I think you're locked in combat until you win and push, you win back, and push back, yeah, okay. or just kill up. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll play it like that, because mm. it, it sounds reasonable, it sounds mm. fair. If it's a rule that we've maybe missed or got wrong, sorry, but as of filming, this is how we're interpreting it. Yeah. So, I have to fight you mm. with my chiseler with his plus one and a knife. And a knife. So, he will get a four. This isn't looking good. Well, it could be worse. Candrus is bleeding like a stuck pig, <laughs> so his fight is currently zero. However, he does have a hand weapon, so five. So, yeah. You beat me by one. Beat you by one. Doesn't beat the armor. No. 
Oh, I'll just keep you in combat. <laughs> I would have a second action because I did heal myself. I assume I can't fight twice. It says you have to move once. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. Uh, that just leaves my last commando. You can always fire into combat. Uh, yeah, but he's not going to. He's going to take a shot through here and hit this little dude. Oh, no. Who's currently bleeding out. So for a plus three, that'll be 16. So if he says that'll be a hit then, okay. he only has a, a single wound points. left. That's fine. Murder and death is fine. It's all of my free people dead now. I yeah. didn't pay them at all. I told them they could have a share of the loot. <laughs> they all uh, had sick families at home. <laughs> uh, so that's all of mine. Uh, that'll be the end of round four. Four, yeah. four or five, I think. Okay, back for round five, and mm. we forgot the droid. Forgot our wandering creature. Yes. Uh, no, he's a very simple creature. If he's not in combat, he'll look for a crew member. If there's no crew member, then he'll move randomly until he finds one. Right. Can he wander like off the board away from us? No, he'll always stay on the board. Okay. Just, just generally poking around the edges. Okay. Uh, there is nobody he can currently see from his position way back here. Yeah. So he will go backwards. <laughs> Of course he will. Why would he not go backwards? Yeah, I, I, I can't even get him on camera. He's so far away yeah. from us. I just go. Skirt is five inches there. Mm. And then he still can't see anybody. So he'll then go so two and a half inches this one. Home, he's just literally wandering along yeah. the, the front of the board here. You can't even see him on the closed cameras. He's just bouncing back and forward. Yeah. That's probably what he's been doing through this entire research station. Mm. Initiatives? Initiatives. Yep. Oops, a, one. a 17. <laughs> I called dice interference. <laughs> Knocked a sign right down on top of me. Okay. Okie dokie. First or second? Uh, oh, I'll go first. Okay. What's your cappy captain doing? Uh, I think I'll go for heal. Okay. So you need a 10 or better? Uh, no. Uh, I, my heal is better. I need a 9 or better. Ah. Uh -huh. So heal uh, on a 12. That'll work. So that's five points back to Kendris. Uh huh. Taking him away from death's door and back up to a helpful seven. Mm. Right. And then, because he's, you know, got nothing else to do with his time, he's going to attempt to open the box. <laughs> What's in the box? For a 10. 10, his will is 5, so he will open the box. What's in the box? The box contains loot, yep. but this box summon interesting things. It, it does. does summon interesting things. It summons a 9. 9, you say? 9. That sounds small and less annoying. <laughs> 9 is a primitive thing. Okay. Our primitive things... Some form of horrible bog monster? Well, today will be some sort of Masasi Sith mutant. Um, yeah, it's a rough folk. Certainly. Primitive and ignored as much as possible. They wander around with very little fight, no shoot. shoot. And uh, I'm just. I'm sure. oh, they're just annoying them. Yeah. All right, for location is a 12, which is that corner over there. Mm. So he'll come in. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, near yeah, enough. There-ish. Coolie. Wondering what all the noise is. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, my captain, who is just standing where he is, not really sure what's going on, is just going to plant three shots into your captain, mm -hmm. like, who you can see over the wall. Mm -hmm. Even though he's got his void blade and all the rest. Uh, because why not? So it's a plus three. So shot the first. Uh, it's 20 total. Yep, that one will get through. Okay. What's your armor? My armor is nine. Ooh, 11 damage. Yep. Many health. Not many. Three at the moment. Shot the second for a 18. You know, that'll kill my captain. Oh dear. And you will drop the loot? He will drop the loot. I, 
the fact that my the fact that my captain is dead is more of an inconvenience than dropping the loot. <laughs> it has to be said. I mean, he was kind of overconfident with his void blade. Ah, oh, you know. You know, eventually he has to miss the incoming shots. <laughs> Got him. I'll assume that the third shot is wasted because yeah. I had already called the ball. Mm. Well, that's lovely. Uh, for my second action, do I want to get confident and try and go and grab that? I think I do. So, Mon Capitan, uh, with his six inch movement, mm -hmm. five mm -hmm. will allow him to hop over the top and be standing next to it and staying out of range of you. Okie dokie. Uh, that's my captain, so your first mate. So, first mate. Uh huh. He'll just attempt to regenerate. Okay. On a 12. Six. Six. No, good. doesn't. Shame. Shame. Oh well. Oops. Thank you, though. Okay. Uh, my own first mate then. Who is down here? Yep. You know what? I think we're in a pretty good place right now. So he's going to move his six and uh, take a shot. He can't do both, he's stunned. Ah, then he is literally just, he can unstun. Yep. Which takes up one. Yep. And then he's just going to move his six up into hard cover here. Oh, good. Yours for the rest of your crew. Okay. So. Now, whenever you're leaving the board, is it any table edge you can use? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Jump with a gun, we'll go to there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Are you within one inch? Yep. Then I can close in and force combat. Because uh -huh. I think your gun, or you're probably better yeah. with the gun. Um, no, exactly no? the same. Okay. Doesn't make a difference. Either way, it stops you picking up the loot automatically. Yeah. So, what is Dutch? Dutch is better in combat. So yeah, he may as well force combat. Okay. So that allows him to move in the inch. Yep. And turn this into a punch up. Okay. Do. And I have a second action, so I will fight. Okay. Yep. Uh, seven becomes eleven. 16 becomes 19. Uh, so 19 total. Yep. Uh, his armor is 13. He will take six points of damage. Excellent. So he's stunned. Uh, pencil. There. We'll stay in combat. Six. That's fine. Okay. Guy in here. Uh huh. Will he break into the cabinet? You will not break into the cabinet with a six, seven, eight. Uh huh. Not this turn. And then two commanders up top. Uh, he will fire uh -huh. after reloading. So three. Oops, it is a one. Oh, I jammed myself again. And he will fire. Uh-huh. 14, 15. Uh, 15 plus 7. He's fine. He's fine. And that's all of me. Okay. Uh, my troops then. Mm. So, this commando here is going to shoot at the guy in the open mm -hmm. for plus 3. Uh, for 21. 20. Natural 20. <laughs> With my commando y commando ness of commando. Yes. So I'll be at 21. So tie, no good. Yep. Uh, I've got me commando here. Mm -hmm. You can't really do anything. In fact, I'll tell you what, it's. We've done enough today. Mm -hmm. He's going to just leg it for nine. Or no, seven and a half. So he'll get to about there. Uh, the medic is just going to run off table and be gone. Okay. Uh, commando here shot. Sniper here. 
Uh, yeah, he's just going to shoot at the guy up there. Okay. For plus four. For a two, that's going to do nada. Yay. And round. That is, yeah. No, it's not. Oh, uh, actually, yes. Two wandering monsters. Yeah, do your monsters. Do this one first. Okay. Since he still can't see anybody, he's going to go backwards. <laughs> Five inches to there. We still can't see anybody. Oh. Two and a half to there. He might suddenly come into range. Yeah. This fella can see. Yeah, you can see your guy. So. I assume he goes directly towards? Yeah. Uh, he will not reach this turn. He will get to there though. Okay. And now it's turn. Now it's turn. And we're back for round six. Hmm. Okay, uh, I forgot to do a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, my chiseler should have fought. Um. But I forgot, so I forgot. It's only fair. Initiative. Mm -hmm. For me, that will be an 18. 19. God damn it. Your Dice gods have turned against me. Your captain still goes first because I don't have a captain. Yeah. Are you going first though? Oh yeah. Okay. So my captain against your monkey man. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything I can... Do that would be entertaining. First action, I'm going to cast Fortune. You only have one action? Because you oh, got yeah, you six wounds, me. you got stunned. Yep, so I'm just going to fight your monkey. Okie dokie. Plus four. Four and nine. What the hell? A 20. Oh ah, my god. Cool. So that gives me 23. 23, that's 10 damage. So 10 damage plus five for the critical. 15 damage. Yep. He was already on six. He's dead. Yeah, he's out. Bosh. Go monkey. <laughs> All the captains go down. Yeah, that was unexpected. It wasn't it though. It's good fun though. <laughs> I never thought a random crewman would just rock up and murder a captain in this game. That is the joy of, well, you say a random crewman. Like I say, he's an elite. He's as good as my commandos. <laughs> I didn't bring crappy hackers and chiselers. I paid the extra for soldiers who can fight and do the, the mission as well. Yeah, so I, I would like to know Jerry built the forces. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't make a blind bit of difference. All right. Uh, so you're... My first mate. Yeah, your first mate. Uh, he will fight. Okay. Uh, my chiseler only gets a plus one. Yep. There we go. Uh, that'll be a 20. Canvas. 17 plus fight of only two, 19. Oh. I beat you. Oh. Is um, you do nine. 11 damage? If it wasn't no, armor? His, his armor is much higher than, than no armor at all. Um, you're on 19, so you do eight damage. Oh, is it what you roll, not what your total is for damage? Oh, it's what your total is. Oh, yeah. So it's 20. Okay, so you're on 20. So that will that'll polish off my first mate. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. And my chiseler has another action. He does if he's no longer wounded. Uh, he's he got is healed, no longer wounded because my captain healed him by five points. Yep. No, he doesn't have another action because it's not the soldier's phase. Yes, That was point. my fight. Ah, yes. So it's on to mine. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to be clever here. So he's going to activate him and they're both just going to boot it. Okay. So for him for nine, we'll get him off table. Mm -hmm. And him for seven and a half, ooh, he comes up short to there. That's okay. Soldiers. Soldiers. The one inside here? Yeah, is going to try again. Going to try, try, and try again. And fail. Nine, ten, eleven. Getting closer. Yeah. Not close enough. Yep. And then my commandos, he's not going to bother on clearing his jam. He's going to double move to drop down to there. Right. And he will take his single move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he's just going to take a single move up to there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh -huh. 
And don't forget Mr. Monkey. Yeah. The monkey, he's just going to leave. Not enough for today? Mmm. Get away from me. I'm a chimp with a gun and a bad <laughs> attitude. Fair enough. All right, uh, my soldiers then. Yep. Uh, so, sniper up top. Mm -hmm. He is just going to shoot the monkey mm -hmm. with a plus four. Can we do? Yep. For a one. one. Damn, that monkey does not want to die. Nope. You get a jam, but it's not going to matter. Yep. Uh, this commando here mm -hmm. runs off table. Chiseler. He's got two actions. He's going to go forward for one. Yep. Pick up the loot. Yep. And that'll be him for this round. Yep. And that's me. And that's me as well. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of round the game. Six. Uh, Robot. They could move, but they're not going to yeah. do anything. They're not going to reach anybody this turn. Yeah. So anybody who got off table mm -hmm. with loot yes. has it. Right. Anybody who's holding loot on the table, it mm -hmm. depends on the scenario. In this case, you will get the loot for okay. that. Uh, in some cases, if you've ran people off yeah. and there's still loot on the table inside things like we have here, yeah. you don't get that. All right. You only get what you've managed to lift All because right. you don't have enough time to hack around. Yeah. So, um, in the end phase, yes. so to speak, we go through to see what exactly happened to people like our captains. Yes. To see if... Well, I mean, like, I got my medic off table, so that's probably going to help. Uh, only whenever you upgrade a medical bay on your ship. Ah, uh, so we actually have, like, a, a metaphysical base that we're running outside of the game. So. You, you've, got, you've got a ship. Okay. That's how you go from place to place, mm -hmm. and you can do things like um, the advanced medical suite will cost you 500 credits, uh, but you can re-roll survival rolls for soldiers, okay. specialists, or standard ones after each game. Well, you have to take the second roll. Uh -huh. You can also upgrade your armory and cargo pods and extra quarters and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. so if we go to here, <laughs> so you got off with a. Uh, I got. Data. One for my hacker, my data one. And you also got a physical. And a physical, yes. Okay, so roll d20 for the data. Uh, I'll be an 18. You found something from the advanced technology table. Ooh la la. Ooh. Roll uh, again. And roll for the physical while I'm here. Okay, I'll be a 19. So you found an alien artifact. Ooh. Ooh. So advanced technology. Uh, I'll be a 10. You have found a pulse disperser. Okay. And for the physical, uh, 10 again. And the alien artifact is a psychic resonator. Ooh, that could be handy. So, yeah. And then, I suppose the important thing is whether or not our captain survived. Yes. We can do the rest of the loot and experience afterwards. Uh, so, for my captain, I'll be at 12. So, 12, full recovery. Cool. So, that's not bad. For my captain, Go on, Revan. You've only died once before. Eight. An eight, it's a close call. So what's a close call mean? No major injury, but loses all of the gear it was carrying. Dun, dun, dun. Items from the general equipment list are replaced for free. That's fine. I didn't have anything clever on them yet. So what about your blade? Is my, it general? No, my blade's just a hand weapon. <laughs> I, I, it's just a psychic power I use to ah, infuse okay, to it, it with spicy. force. Yep. Uh, and then my first mate. 20. 20. Full recovery. Cool. So he's fine. They're all fine. Soldiers have a simpler table. They're either mm -hmm. dead, wounded, or full recovery. Uh -huh. Those three I don't care about because they were free. So the only one I actually care about is my grenadier. My grenadier says 16 mm -hmm. is a full recovery. So Okay. I don't think anyone special of mine died. It was just grunts. I don't know where you... I, I don't know. I don't think so. My dog died. Dog died. It's, it's going to, yeah, it costs you to replace. The recruit died. She's free to replace. Yeah. Your captain made a full recovery. That's so it. So, dog. For a five. Five. He's not dead. Badly wounded, though. Uh, you start the next game with half your health uh -huh. rounded down. Okay. Well, oh Poor dog. Yeah. Game over old, then. Old yellow him. <laughs> <Back. laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, I'll tell you what, get your comments in below. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Myself and Jerry will move on. Hopefully we'll get another one of these in this week for you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon.
go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.